Welcome back. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. Now, all I know about my first guest is that he is a whistleblower. Hi. Thanks for having me. You're doing uh, society a great service. Well, thank you for coming. And, and uh, what is your name? I, do I look like I want to be assassinated immediately? No. That's, uh, I have information. Who I am is unimportant. What I know is important. Do you have a code name you want to go by? Is there... Uh, I hesitate even to uh, compromise my security in that way. You can call me Fashion Bug. Fashion Bug. Sure. Okay. Uh, my next guest is the new liberal columnist for Guns and Ammo magazine. Please welcome Francis Waters. Hello. Hi, Brian. Thanks for having me Thank here. you for coming. Yeah, you know, and I would like to apologize in advance for all the uh, wimpy, weak-minded, womanly, anti-American opinions I'm about to shove down your throat. What? Is it now, but you work for Guns and Ammo magazine. I mean, that's well. I'm, but I'm the liberal columnist, so really? I'm it, wrong. How'd you get that gig? Uh, you know, I just needed the money, uh, and I was working for free anyway. And they were like, "Hey, write some stuff." What, what's the best thing you've written so far that you got the most reactions from? It? Well, I wrote something, you know, about how maybe we don't need banana clips in uh, in our handguns. Uh -huh. In handguns. That was wrong. Yeah. Right, because you don't put banana clips in handguns. Right? Well, I mean, that's what I said, but right. they were like, "If we could, we would," and shut up. So. Huh. Interesting. All right. And we've all been waiting for months for my next guest to finally arrive. It's summertime. Hey, 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 hey! School's out for summer! Ah, that's, which is you! <laughs> that's me! Oh, hey, welcome to summertime. Well, thank welcome you for to coming. Summer. Welcome to summer. Welcome to summer. You guys got your bathing suits on underneath uh, those clothes? So once it stops raining, yeah. Okay, well, put on those suits because you're going to the beach. We're all going to the beach. All right. Guess what? I'm going to be there up in the sky. All right, fantastic. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the news. Um, President Obama's approval ratings took a big dip lately, and for the first time in his presidency, uh, more than half the American population says that he's no longer trustworthy. Uh, and a lot of this has to do with the scandals and things. Um, is there somebody, uh, fashion bug, in your life uh, who you were uh, very into and now they've kind of disappointed you, or something? In, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, there's a Boston market. Uh, they advertise that their chicken carver sandwich has Boston Market sauce on it. That Boston Market sauce is nothing but mayonnaise with chives in it. Is that that's a revelation you're giving us right now? At, at great personal peril, Brian. Uh, I'm going to leave this place and go to and go onto a plastic barge in the ocean that cannot be located by satellite or radar. You'll never find me. I've moved my family. My children all live in separate cities, as does my wife and my my parents. I have more information and if you come for me it will be released upon my death. You're gonna find out so many things about GameStop, uh, uh, about uh, uh, Lululemon. Lululemon? Sure. What, what's going on with Lululemon? Well, it's Brian, overpriced yoga gear, isn't I, it? I, listen, they have orbiting a space platform that could blow me up as I say this. Lululemon does. Yes, it. but a lot of their uh, a lot of their yoga pants mm. are, are um, they're advertised as polyester when they're actually slightly a blend. That is outrageous. Is that not outrageous? I just ask that we do something with this information. Don't let this movement die with me. Sure. Uh, Francis, yeah. anybody or anything that you were once really into and now it's kind of you're disappointed? Well, you know, uh, one of the first columns that I wrote for Guns and Ammo, uh, the liberal side of things, um, you know, I was a little disappointed in Wayne LaPierre. Or, the uh, head of the NRA, mm -hmm. for not just taking a little bit more responsibility. Yeah, Wayne LaPierre is not really a back down guy, so yeah, an article like well, that is not going to go anywhere. You know, I mean, I was a little disappointed in that, but uh, I wrote this column and turns out I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Boy, was I wrong. You yeah. know? And the way they show you that at Guns and Ammo is they just leave a bullet in the middle of your desk. Uh, it was a hollow point bullet. Wow. And I was like, oh, I guess, I guess this story. A dumb, dumb getting... bullet. Is that kind of like a little. Oh, angry? no, it worked. Yeah, yeah. They showed me that they used it later as shot, uh, shot at my uh -huh. car and showed me that it does work. It so. does work. Yeah, sure. It flattens out and just makes a big hole. Yep. Yeah, I drive around. Uh, my little Civic now is a big old bullet hole. Really? Uh, several, actually. Uh, this... for one for every column I've written, really. Is this a hostile work environment you're in? It sure is for me, you know, but they're nice enough to give me my own gun. You're kidding. Me. Uh, okay. So, is that yeah. a real gun? Yeah, of course is it, it is. Is it loaded? I, I mean, to be honest, I don't know. You have the gun and you have your, I think you have your finger in the trigger there. If you just... I don't know. Yeah, you I don't do. know how these work. Okay, just take out. Oh, my God. Yeah. Listen, if you are an assassin who's been sent here by, by Fuddruckers, please know you can kill me, but you can't kill my ideas. I'm a little worried about the gun, to be honest. I'm a little... Who? You. I'm worried about the gun. You're, the way you're handling the gun is really not good. I don't know. Yeah, I know, but you, you see, you're pointing the, the boom I know. at the... 
Is this the bullet tunnel? Yeah, that's the bullet tunnel. All right, I'm going to keep my hand over you it. Do not want to keep your no, hand over fine. the bullet tunnel. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. Oh, sorry. Okay, careful. Take, just take your finger Have off you the tunnel. Have you seen that movie? Please Are you don't. You to me? Stop. You put, yeah, yeah. Taxi driver. It's not funny. It's a gun. Are you talking no, no, to me? no. No. I know. I know. Put I know. It's gun outside. Thank I'll you. back with some fireworks. Uh, summertime. Why don't you? Uh, what is there? Someone or something that you were really into and now has disappointed you? No. No. What are you talking about? I love everything. I love everybody. I've never been disappointed. I don't even know what that word means. You've never been disappointed? No. Listen, I'm just having fun, okay? School's out. We're all taking a little vacation. It's hot outside. We're going to go to the pool. We're going to have a little drink. We're going to hang out with our friends. We're going to run to the ice cream truck. We're going to run into the sprinklers. What's there to be disappointed about? That sounds like a great time. You start a lot of forest fires in the summer, Oh, right? yeah. I love a good fire. Yeah. But yeah. like Colorado. Woo, fire. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's fun. Fun colors. Bright to look at. Yeah. What if you have a house there? Well, oops. Watch out. Fun's coming through. We'll be right back. See this gun? Yes. Yeah, you know, in fact, let me just take that from you. Here. This week, Michelle Obama and her kids went to Ireland, where they met Bono for lunch in a Dublin pub. A fashion bug, who would you like to meet in a Dublin pub for lunch? Uh, don't be stupid, Brian. I used to work in a Dublin pub called the River Liffey Tavern. And although it advertised having the prettiest Dublin waitresses in the world, a lot of those waitresses were from the suburbs or exurbs of Dublin. Wow. Uh, Francis, who would you like to have lunch with in a Dublin pub? Uh, I, you know, I think I'd like to have lunch with Adam Zirkobach. How do you know my name? Fashion bug says hello. What? <gasps> I did it! Okay! Great. Summertime! <laughs> Woohoo! You know what that makes me think of? No. Fourth of July. Who's having a Fourth of July party? I am. Hey, you guys want to come to my Fourth of July party? Hey, you know what? We can even bring... We can't That's bring right. him. Yeah, you know, we'll turn on the sprinkler. We'll throw his body over the sprinkler, right? Does this summertime. not freak you out? Well, we're going to throw him over the sprinkler, so he's still going to be participating. Hooray. Sounds like a fun party. You coming to my party? No, I'm not coming to your party. I'm, 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 Why would not you come to my party? It's summertime. It's summertime. Come on. Party. Stop pointing that. Take a load off. It's party, summer. Brian, Brian you're not okay. going to win. That's all the time we have for this week. I'm your host, Brian Sack. Please like us on Facebook. Guys, Love us on Twitter. And remember, the wonderful world of Stu is up next is what I would say if it was up next, but it's not. Good night, America. Please, you're, you, you really fun. don't know how to handle this, this thing. This is fun. Hey, whoever, okay, whoever lost has to get hit by water balloons. <laughs> Summertime! Woo! Did I do that? <laughs>